Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just doing um, a foundation declutter. Um, I have a lot of foundations and to be honest, I don't really wear foundation. So I'm definitely going to be getting rid of a lot of them. So let's get right into it. Okay, so these are all the foundations I want to go through. I have two bags here. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in. I have not tried this yet um, that I know of. It does look a little too yellow for me. But my sister did purchase this for me, so I'm going to keep it. Um, just a little longer. My plan is to get it all to fit in this acrylic drawer, um, so we'll see. Um, I'm going to keep this because this is like a really nice um, a tinted moisturizer. Um, it is a little too warm for me, but anything that's too warm for me, I have a way to neutralize it um, to make it my skin tone. And this is in shade 20 Fair. This is the Rare Beauty. Um, I've had this for like two years and it's separating. So I'm going to declutter it and just purchase a new one because it is such a sheer um, foundation and I like the natural look. This is the Maybelline um, Perfector 4-in-1 Whipped Matte Makeup. I'm going to declutter this. I've had it for maybe nine or ten months, but I'm not a fan of it. I was the first like couple weeks I used it. But it does leave like patches on my skin. It clings to dry patches as well. Like it doesn't matter how hydrated your skin is, it clings to those dry patches. Obviously, keeping my Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. This is shade 110C. Such beautiful coverage. Just like a medium coverage. Um, but you can build it up. It is also, you know, a little dewy. Um, so if you don't like dewy makeup, you can just set it with powder and it works out fine. Wet n Wild. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite foundations. This is the foundation, the Photo Focus Foundation in Dewy. So they do have a matte formula. I have not tried it yet. Um, I'm going to keep this because this is actually only like five or six months old. So I haven't even used it for that long. Here's the mixing pigment I talked about. If I had any like foundations that were too pink for me, I can just add a little bit of this LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. Um, you can get this at like Ulta, CVS. Um, if your Walmart has LA Colors, um, you might be able to find it. I know that my Walmart that I shop at doesn't have this yet. Um, I don't know if they ever will. Um, I am decluttering this because, first of all, it's not even the right shade for me. Um, it's not even too pink like you think it would be. It is shade 112 Natural Ivory. Um, I'm going to just set it. I'm, I'm going to declutter it, but I'm going to see if like my nieces or something can use it. Okay, so I actually have two of these. And they are the same shade, but I'm telling you they do not look it. Okay, maybe they do on camera. I'm getting rid of both of these. Um, I'm going to see if my nieces can use them. These are in shade Fairlight. This is the Maybelline Perfective 4 in 1, the glow one. So yes, I'm going to declutter both of these. This is the, the NYX Bear With Me um, Tinted Skin Veil. I absolutely love this. It gives like just a little bit of coverage for like those natural days. Um, I'm going to keep it. This is the LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation. I don't remember if I liked this, so I'm going to keep it to try it out. But it's going to go in, like, the maybe pile. Um, we'll see at the end, see if I save another foundation. Here is the Manglani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Um, shade 00A Porcelain. I had to do a swatch because I don't remember. Um, I don't know if I could ever make this work. I don't think so. <laughs> maybe. I will keep it in the maybe pile with the LA Colors one and we'll see. Also, I'm really sorry if you guys don't like this angle. Um, I'm trying out new angles for <laughs> videos like this. Here is the NARS Sheer Glow in light too. Um, a little too pink for me, but like I said, I can add that other thing to it. Um, I definitely love this. It gives a nice, well, sheer glow look to your face. Um, so if you don't like the glowiness, again, you can set it with powder, but I love it. I'm telling you there's, I love dewy makeup. Okay, this has to be decluttered because I've had this for like three years. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation Shade 120. 
definitely decluttering this because, yeah, I've had it forever. It's probably expired. Um, this is just pure Lisa uh, BB cream. I'm going to declutter this. It was not my shade. Um, this is a shade. I don't even know. I know it's oh fair. Um, it's a mini. I got it in Ipsy. It did not work for me at all. Here's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Makeup. This is such a pretty foundation. I think I am going to declutter these. I really don't see myself using these. So here are all of the foundations I'm keeping. Eight foundations. I'm not considering this one. Um, eight foundations. That to me is still a lot, but I'm going to use them because um, they're all sheer. Like I don't really like full coverage, so I'm sorry if you guys subscribe to my channel and um, you're expecting like full coverage makeup. But right now, I'm not really digging it. Um, it's just something that I'm not into. I don't. I feel like it clogs my pores, so I've been sticking to sheer makeup. Thank you all so much for watching this video. So I decluttered nine and kept eight foundations. Um, I'm going to try really hard to use them more often because I got rid of most of them because they were expired. Um, some of them wore the wrong shade. So I'm going to just work on downsizing my foundations and not buy any more um, because that is really what I want to do. I don't want this many foundations. Um, the next video will be concealer, so keep your eye out for that. Um, it should be next week. I don't have many concealers, but I want to go through them. I want to talk about them. Um, anyway, thank you all so much. Bye.